What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best graphics cards in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. If you want to save a few dollars and still get a product of solid quality and performance, we say check out for you the Evga RTX 3060 XC Black, also known as the best affordable graphics card available on the market in 2022. With 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, combined with optimal cooling and exciting operating frequencies, the Evga RTX 3060 XC is a great choice for both gaming and everyday business use. The package is quite simple, accompanied by a user manual. Like all RTX 30 series graphics cards, the RTX 3060 supports NVIDIA DLSS, NVIDIA Reflex, and NVIDIA Broadcast Technologies, which accelerate performance and improve image quality. We can't leave out real-time ray tracing either. The XC Black comes with a large memory and a compact design aimed at meeting the high demands of all users. The design is very elegant, with an all-black dual-fan cooling system and excellent finishes. Cooling is quite robust, with a heat sink with thin aluminum fins covering the entire front of the PCB, and where a copper heat pipe runs lengthwise and widthwise to transfer the heat generated by the base, which has direct contact with the GPU. It has a PCIe 4.0 interface, and while one of the rear slots is for thermal ventilation, the other is dedicated to video outputs, of which have HDMI 2.1 and three DisplayPort slots. This model can support settings like 4K 120Hz HDR or 8K 60Hz HDR. Overall, the Evga RTX 3060 XC Black offers outstanding performance at 1080p and can be expanded to 2560 by 1440 with a few options. In addition, the card perfectly copes with complex scenarios, and when the demand increases, the fans just turn on, which is quite efficient in this regard. The Evga GeForce RTX 3060 XC Black package comes in dimensions of 7.94 by 1.65 by 4.33 inches, while its weight is 2 pounds. For the listed price, we are thoroughly impressed. If you're looking for the top bang for the buck, check out the Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3070 for you, also known as the best value graphic card available on the market in 2022. We're looking at an OC model, featuring a factory overclock that raises the boost clock from 1730 MHz on NVIDIA's Founders Edition to 1850 MHz in gaming mode, with the option to go to 1845 MHz in OC mode. Asus also offers the option to use the card with the BIOS in performance or quiet mode via a separate switch. But in any case, we can tell you that performance mode does not present any problem in terms of noise. The Asus Tough Gaming RTX 3070 keeps the classic design of the Tough Gaming card, generally discreet, with a matte black color. Asus has adopted an aluminum heatsink cover as well as a backplate that covers the entire back, except for the area behind the GPU. The chip follows 10 power phases while the 8GB of memory manages two dedicated phases. The three axial fans have a diameter of 90mm and start rotating only at 56 degrees Celsius in different directions. The central one goes clockwise, and the other two operate in the counterclockwise direction in order to reduce turbulence and therefore noise. The chunky radiator is composed of three parts and features different heat pipes for heat distribution. The heat sink extends beyond the PCB, and the back plate leaves a window open to provide a push-pull effect so hot air rises to the top of the case to be captured and expelled. RGB lighting can be controlled via software, and the user can choose between different effects. Compared to NVIDIA's design, Asus has expanded the array of rear outputs by offering two HDMI 2.1 and three DisplayPort 1.4 options. The cooler proved to be Tough Gaming's forte once again, with a difference of around 10 degrees Celsius compared to the Founders Edition cooling system. The Tough Gaming cooler is not only efficient, but manages to keep the GPU at very low temperatures without making any noise. For the listed price, you can't beat this one. The next product we'll talk about is the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT, also known as the best AMD graphics card available on the market in 2022. The rear connection board includes two DisplayPort 1.4a, one HDMI 2.1, and one USB Type-C, with support for DisplayPort, charging, and data transfer. The design is very solid and of excellent quality, but in comparison, when it comes to power per watt, AMD has always been quite behind, until RDNA arrived and AMD established the basis for a new architecture that overcame GCN's problems in this area. 
RDNA 2 made it clear that the performance per watt of AMD graphics cards is excellent, but the changes to the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT are deeper because they touch absolutely everything that can be touched on a graphics chip, primarily to offer more performance while reducing consumption. Modifications touch the interconnections of GPU elements, optimizations in chip consumption management, and the most important change is the new Infinity Cache. That's 128 megabytes of memory, which now acts as a cache, similar to a level 3 processor, but programmable for AMD's interests and acts more like a buffer. The chip used by the RX 6800 XT is the Navi 21, which includes 26.8 billion transistors. It also has some margin for frequency improvement, which makes it a very interesting model in all aspects, including its careful exterior design. This graphics card has a semi-passive mode for the fans. Most of the time, they'll be disabled if only the desktop is used. Considering the thick heat sink and three fans, temperatures are good and the noise is excellent. The GPU alone reaches 71 degrees Celsius under constant full load, so it's a good value compared to previous generations. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here. Up next, we present to you this silver medal in the title of the best runner-up graphics card available on the market in 2022, NVIDIA RTX 3070. This model did for 4K gaming what the GeForce GTX 970 did for 1080p gaming, which is to make it more accessible to most consumers without compromising performance. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 is powered by the Ampere GA104 GPU. This GPU has 5888 CUDA cores spread across 46 streaming multiprocessors, based on the same NVIDIA Ampere architecture as the RTX 3080 and RTX 3090. There are plenty of improvements in both raw performance and power efficiency, bringing this graphics card mid-range to high performance levels. The biggest improvements from the Turing to Ampere generation of switches is that both data paths in the streaming multiprocessor now support FP32 workloads, effectively doubling the CUDA cores per SM. That's pretty impressive, but we also have second-gen RT cores and third-gen tensor cores here, meaning both ray tracing and DLSS are much more efficient and this new RT core offers twice the performance of the first generation RT. The NVIDIA RTX 3070 is also the only graphics card in the Ampere line with a reasonable level of power consumption. One of the biggest features here is NVIDIA Broadcast, which is aimed at people streaming games, but the utility is much broader. For example, in video calls, this software will use Tensor AI kernels to blur or replace the background, and it'll do so much more efficiently than built-in versions of programs like Zoom. Even on demanding titles like Horizon Zero Dawn and Red Dead Redemption 2, the NVIDIA RTX 3070 delivers incredible performance, with 75 FPS on the latter at 1080p with almost all maxed out. Certainly, the NVIDIA RTX 3070 is easily capable of running virtually any game in 4K without thinking about quality settings. Thumbs up, that's for sure. Finally, we present to you the long-awaited gold medal and the title of the best overall graphics card available on the market in 2022, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 308. We're looking at a card of considerable size and weight, powered by a new 12-pin connector that delivers power up to 600 watts. Although according to NVIDIA, this GPU has an average consumption of 320 watts. In practice, it's quite easy to connect. One of the big news we can appreciate is NVIDIA's firm intention to combine 4K with ray tracing, a technology that is on everyone's lips in the gaming world. With the new Ampere architecture, maintaining a stable 60 FPS with ray tracing is no longer a dream, and with RTX 3080, it's quite possible. Samsung engineers actively collaborated with NVIDIA on the production of these graphics processors using 8NM integration technology. With more CUDA cores, more GDDR6 memory, 10 gigabytes at 19 gigahertz, and higher data throughput, the GeForce RTX 3080 is pure brute force, capable of handling anything you throw at it. Now the 3080 has multiple RT cores, which are responsible for performing the ray calculations required by this demanding rendering. Thanks to this, it relieves the GPU of stress and does the work much more efficiently. In addition, there are more tensor cores, essential units with DLSS technology. This technology is an intelligent upscaling technique that works to create a high-quality image using only half as many pixels. If we talk about connectivity, NVIDIA decided to remove the virtual link port, including three DisplayPort 1.4a connectors and one HDMI 2.1. With these DisplayPort connectors, you'll be able to use 8K resolution and a screen speed of 60Hz with activated HDR, or 4K at 240Hz, depending on the monitor you opt for. Overall, this product delivers premium performance at the best possible price-quality ratio. You wanted the best, you got it. So that's it for the best graphics cards of 2022. 
Like, comment, and subscribe to receive the notifications about our latest videos.